Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of estimating addition problems. This is standard 3.4b in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 33 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, solve the problem on your own, and then unpause it. Let's look at our answers together. So Vincent has three posters in his bedroom, and we have three different lengths, 59 centimeters, 92 centimeters, and 127 centimeters. What is the best estimate, we'll talk about that in just a moment, of the total length of these three posters? So total length, that lets you know we're going to add, and it said these three posters, so we need all three numbers. This word estimate, though, means we do not need an exact answer. Now we can. We can go ahead and add these up and see what the exact answer is. But that answer is not going to be here. So let's see what, what that would look like if we just wanted to add 59 and 92. The only tricky one here is 127. Make sure that one in the hundreds place kind of sticks out to the side. So if we just wanted to add it up like this, 9 and 2 make 11, and another 7 is going to make 18. Let's see, 1 and 9 make 10, 15, 17. Let's carry this one. So 278 is the actual answer. And the closest answer to that is 280. But let's see what would happen if we actually do estimate. So we can round to the tens place. We can round to the hundreds place. Or we can maybe even use some compatible numbers. So let's try rounding. And let's try rounding to the tens place. So I'm going to do this. Again, 59. Now, here's the trick when you're rounding uh, to the tens place and not all of your numbers go to the same place value. So 59 and 92, it makes perfect sense to round them to the tens place. But 127, you might want to round to the hundreds place. If you start with one place value, go ahead and do that for all of them. So we're going to round all of them to the tens place rather than 2 to the tens and 1 to the hundred. So I'm rounding the 59 to the tens place. That means between 50 and 60, I'm trying to see which is that closest to. This 9 is definitely closer to 60. It's going to, if it's 5 or more, the number to the right of what we're looking at, if it's 5 or more, is going to make this go up 1. So 59 is closer to 60. So the 5 changes to a 6, and that goes just to a 0. 92 is between 90 and 100. This digit next to the what we're rounding is not five or more, it's four or less, which means nothing's going to happen to that nine, and it's going to round down to 90. Now, we're going to do the same thing here with 127. When we do that, you see this one in the hundreds place, it's to the left of what we're rounding to. We're going to go and write that down. That's not going to change. So we're going to look at the seven, and the seven is five or more. It's going to make this two go up to 130, because that's going to turn into zero. So if I were to add this, Let's see, I've got 9 and 6 is 15, and the 3 is 18. So there's your 280. That makes a lot of sense. It's really close to my 278. Yeah, I guess if you wanted to, you could round this to the hundreds place, but it's going to get us a really wonky answer that's not even going to be an option. Even though 59 and 92 don't go to the hundreds place, what we could do is we could just put a 0 here. And we can say, all right, so we're going to round to the hundreds place. We're going to look right here. Five or more make this go up. So if my two boundary numbers are 0 and 100, sure. 59 is closer to 100 than it is to 0. Same thing's going to happen with this 92. Five and up make this number go up, so this is going to turn into 100. Now 127 rounding to the hundreds place, that's a little bit more normal. That's not going to make this number go up. It's going to make it just stay the same because 127 is closer to 100 than it is 200. But then, as you can see, that's going to get us the sum of 300, and that's not even one of the options. So it looks like our best answer is going to be this 280. Uh, this 350 is way too large, and these two numbers are just a little bit too small. And we not only did our estimation by rounding to the tens place, we also, it never hurts to go ahead and do the actual sum to make sure you're close. And we're just two away, so that helps us out. 